Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick and easy tutorial on how you can download and get started using the Leap Wallet, which is especially good for the Cosmos ecosystem, including Atom tokens, as well as Celestia or Tia tokens. So for starters, what you're gonna to want to do is go to leapwallet.io and download the browser extension. Now it is available on many different browsers. I'm getting it for Brave. Now, once you've downloaded the browser extension, you can pin it so that it makes it easier to access. And I'm just gonna include it up here with all of the other crypto wallets that I am using right now. The next step here is that you can do one of three things. You can either create a brand new wallet from scratch. You can import a pre-existing wallet from somewhere else using a seed phrase or a private key, or you can simply connect a hardware wallet. So think if you have Atom tokens or Tia tokens on a ledger or a Trezor device, then you can just connect that wallet here and get going. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna create a brand new wallet from scratch. Now, once you do that, it's gonna generate for you something called a secret recovery phrase. And this is what gives you access to all of the crypto accounts that you're gonna hold within this new wallet. And so what you want to do is write this phrase down somewhere safe and secure where no one else has access to it. And that is going to allow you to recover your wallet if you lose the device that you're holding your crypto assets on. Once you've done that, you can choose a password for your wallet and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so we are good to go. And if I open up the Leap Wallet up here, it's gonna give me an overview of my portfolio. Now, obviously I don't have any assets in this. So the first step is to actually send some assets to it. But now we can choose which assets we want to send. And you'll notice that in the top right hand corner here, this is where we can toggle between the different blockchains within the Cosmos ecosystem. So by default, it goes to Cosmos Hub. However, we can send and receive tokens on any of these different networks here, which is great because it's super versatile. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use the Celestia network. So I'm gonna send some TIA tokens to this new wallet and I'm gonna show you how you can stake those TIA tokens. So once you choose the network that you want to be operating on, there's a button here that says receive. And if I hit on that, it's gonna give me either the option to scan a QR code with my phone or to simply copy the wallet address down here, which is what I'm going to do. Sometimes when you go to receive assets on the Celestia network or also the Atom network, it asks for a memo. However, for this wallet, you don't need that. Usually that's for centralized exchanges. So we don't need a memo for this. We just need the actual wallet address. Then I'm gonna go over to Binance where I have some TIA tokens and I'll transfer them over to my new wallet. Okay, so I have now transferred about 15 TIA tokens to my new Leap wallet. And this is where things actually get interesting because there's a lot that we can do with this. For starters, we can send it to other people. So if I wanted to, I would simply hit on the send button and fill out that information. But we can also use this IBC feature here to transfer tokens between different networks, which again is a very useful and convenient feature to have. Also, there's a swap button where we can make swaps between, for example, Celestia and other tokens within the Cosmos ecosystem. So that is another thing that we can do with Leap. Now you'll notice when I hit on that swap button, it popped up with the actual Leap Wallet Portfolio Manager. And this can be used in conjunction with the browser extension wallet where you can actually expand upon that. So on the portfolio tab, we can have an overview of the different assets in the portfolio. Currently, I only have obviously those 15 TIA tokens that I transferred, but we can also see NFTs in this. We can vote on proposals within the ecosystem. So for example, if there's a proposal and my Celestia tokens actually get to vote on that, I can do that directly within the Leap wallet. And on the activity tab, we can actually see the different things that we've done on the different networks. So anytime you make a transaction, it will pop up here on the activity tab. Now, some of these features can also be accessed within the browser extension. So for example, under governance, if there was a live proposal for Celestia tokens to vote on, I could do that here. But another useful feature is that we can actually stake our TIA tokens directly with the Leap wallet. And so I'm going to do that right now and show you how it works. When you hit stake down here, it's gonna offer you the option to stake, but also on the expanded portfolio view, if you hit on the Celestia section at the bottom, you will see that there's an option to stake TIA tokens here. So let's go ahead and open this up because now we have to choose a validator. 
Now, choosing a validator seems like a complicated endeavor, but there's a couple of things that I look for. For starters, the commission is important, and I think an appropriate commission is somewhere around 5%. Anyone taking 100% commission means you won't get any of the staking rewards for staking with them. They're taking all of the staking rewards. So you wanna choose a validator that probably has somewhere between a 5 and a 10% commission. You also wanna choose a validator that has probably at least a few million TIA tokens staked with them just for a little bit of that safety in numbers. And finally, when you're choosing a validator, I definitely recommend doing a little bit of research. So when you scroll through the list, you find one that has a decent commission, just quickly Google them. So for example, Stake Cito, I know is actually a YouTuber that has spun up a Celestia validator and they are offering a 5% commission, which means you get to keep 16% APR. And they also have over 2 million TIA tokens delegated to them. And here we can open up the Stake Cedo Staker dashboard and see what they're up to. And they're actually actively staking on many different networks within the Cosmos ecosystem. And they are ranked pretty highly. So for example, with Celestia, they are the 37th highest ranking staker or validator in terms of the number of tokens delegated to them. And they're doing pretty well across the ecosystem with over 100 million in assets staked and almost 85,000 separate delegators. So I think that stake Cedo is definitely a good choice, but of course there's many other options. Anyways, I'm going to delegate my TIA tokens to stake Cedo. So once you choose your validator, you hit on the stake button and then you choose how much you want to stake. Important thing to note here, you don't want to stake 100% of the tokens because you need at least a little bit to be able to pay for gas fees or network fees for confirming transactions. So I'm gonna go ahead and stake 14 TIA, leave myself a little bit in reserve in case I need to complete any transactions and I'll be able to pay for those network fees. So once you choose the amount, you simply hit stake and then it pops up in the browser extension wallet asking you to confirm the transaction take a look, make sure everything is correct, and then go ahead and hit approve. Okay, that has successfully gone through and I have now staked 14 TIA tokens with the Stake Cedo validator. So now that is earning approximately 16% APR per year. And if I open up the delegation on Celestia here by clicking on this, I can track this. I can also unstake, redelegate, or add more to my staking amount. And going back to the browser extension up here, you can see that it's updated. It's showing that I only have 0.9 TIA tokens actually available for spending. And if I go to the staking tab here, I can track my staked TIA in this section as well. Also those rewards, which are continually streaming over time can be claimed by simply hitting on this button and I can choose to do that as often as I like. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, you can actually hit on the earn section where you can lend out crypto assets to farm yields. And if you want to, you can scroll through this, find something that has an attractive APR. And if you wanted to lend out those assets to earn these yields here, you can do that. And finally, in the bottom right-hand corner under activity, this is where you can track in the browser extension, everything that you've done with the wallet since you created it. So yeah, those are the basics of the Leap wallet. It's very versatile and there's tons that you can do with it. I've only really scratched the surface, but that should be enough to get you started. Again, this is compatible not only with Celestia, but with Cosmos, Atom, as well as all of these other networks. And you can simply toggle between them by hitting on this button in the top right hand corner of the wallet. And you can use all of these different networks whenever you want. It's very, very simple and easy to use. So yeah, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you later.